Hope comes from envisioning the end of the pandemic, not only the biological solution to the pandemic, but also anticipating what tomorrow's practice of medicine will look like. I believe we have hope for tomorrow. We have all been living in an age of uncertainty for the last 14 months. It has tested our resilience, our grit, our adaptability, and our emotional intelligence. You are thrust into a situation, and now it has been incorporated into the story of your life. You've learned lessons you may not have otherwise learned. You have been transformed by current events in ways that may not be readily apparent but that will reveal themselves as you progress in your careers. The world has changed and so have you. I expect that you will be better physicians and true healers because of this. It's now time for the presentation of graduates and Dr. Ahudi. It feels surreal to be here. I feel like I've been waiting for this moment since I've been a little kid because both my parents were doctors and to be at the stage just feels absolutely amazing. My rowing experience has been great. Um, I'm part of the PC3 program at Cooper Medical School, so finished med school in three years and starting at Cooper Residency in July. I'm very excited. The dedication that Cooper and Rowan had for its patients and the Camden community um, was something that I was definitely looking forward to and looking for in a medical school. I would say that the last four years, they've helped me become the person that I have always aspired to be, not only in a professional manner, but in a very personal manner as well. I can't wait to graduate. I'm so happy my family is here to watch me and I can't wait for this new chapter. I'm sticking around here at Cooper um, uh, Hospital, so I'll be an internal medicine resident starting in July. I'm going to New York City at Mount Sinai, uh, Morningside West for emergency medicine. I hope to become the type of physician that they've taught me and, and I've seen them be. I do solemnly swear by that which I hold most sacred that I will be loyal to the profession of medicine and just and generous to its members, that I will lead my life and practice my art in uprightness and honor, that into whatsoever house I shall enter, it shall be for the good of the sick to the utmost of my power, holding myself aloof from wrong, from corruption, from the tempting of others to vice, that I will exercise my art solely for the cure of my patients and will give no drug, perform no operation for a criminal purpose, even if solicited, far less suggested. That whatsoever I shall see or hear of the lives of my patients, which is not fully secret, these things I do promise, and in proportion as I am faithful to this oath, may happiness and good repute be ever mine, the opposite if I shall be forsworn.